Hey, good morning again, all you heavier than air types. It is Captain T from the Pilot to Pilot Network. Hey, what a difference a few days can make, right? Last video, you know, we've kind of dejected about old Murph. Found a few discrepancies, things we had to fix. Kind of fixable stuff, but we wanted the uh, seller to come around a little bit. He kind of dragged his feet, so we walked away. A few days later, whole different scene. We're back up north at the little strip. We're gonna do a little work on Murph. We have struck a deal. It's deja vu all over again. Come on along, be my co-pilot. You're gonna have a fabulous time working on Murphy. Mr. Murphy is open for business. Got done lapping the valve on the intake side. See, we can't bring the compression up to where it needs to be. Now we're putting it back together and doing a run up. Here you go. Woohoo! Maybe they're gonna work. Who knows? Gotta get the right key. Hi, boys and girls. It's Captain T from the cockpit. There. While Monaco was busy working on the cylinder, old Captain T decided that it would be time to bleed the brakes out and refill the brake lines. And the result of that is right in front of me here. This is a broken brake fitting. Very first thing I touched broke off. So uh, we've got some new fittings coming and we've got a little work to do. The very first fitting I touched on a brake caliper broke off with little or no effort. So Monaco has been uh, carefully step drilling to bring the old brass fitting out of the aluminum housing. And we're now uh, cutting the threads back in with a tap to get rid of all of the brass that was stuck in there. And then we get a new fitting. And hopefully just like that after only six or seven hours the brakes will go together.
Hey, happy Saturday morning. It's Captain T. And we're back working on Murph a little bit this morning. The decision of the judges is final, and we have decided that uh, rather than play with the electronic ignition anymore, what we're going to do is replace it with an old-fashioned magneto. You know, the 0320 E2D was designed to work on a magneto. They work on a magneto just fine. And uh, rather than chase something that I'm not too sure about, we've decided to just replace that uh, electronic with the magneto. So here we go. We're going to take the old electronic off today and uh, go ahead and get ready to hang a mag. The Murphy comes with a uh, canard system. We don't know exactly why, but it's a canard system. And that canard system is leaving because we don't need it, no how. So this is the other end of the canard system and uh, we're going to discombobulate this and see if we can get the whole thing to come out of there somehow. It's just the system we don't need, you know? Kind of like the water rudders that are in here. Don't need those either. And if we've done everything right, this ought to come out of there. Kind of like that.